Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be featuring some World of Warships Legends Mobile. Now, I was lucky enough to get my hands on this game, especially since it was only released in the Philippines and Canada. It is not available in the US yet, and I'm not really sure when it will be. But I do have some gameplay here. I was able to link my Xbox account with the mobile account, which is why I'm here in my Massachusetts B. I figure this would be the first ship to try and use in the mobile version, especially since I have so much experience on the Xbox, so that if there was something missing or something different about the way this game plays, I could probably tell what that is. So getting right into it, we do have the basic controls, the acceleration and turning left and right, as well as access to our consumables there on the left. We have the binoculars, which is on that left side because I accidentally changed one of the settings, which switched that binocular with the little magnifying glass on the right, which is the overview camera. And if you had the settings switched on, then the binocular view would be next to the firing button, which I think is the better way to go. Now something else that is missing, especially when playing a secondary battleship, is the ability to target your secondaries on a specific target. As of right now, you just let your secondary shoot at whatever they shoot at. I couldn't really tell if it still targeted destroyers first as the priority target, but it is definitely something that is missing. Now I have also tried to figure out if it is possible to ping the map, and unfortunately it is not. Hopefully it is a feature that is added sometime later. Now after playing quite a few games and trying to get a feel for how this game plays compared to the console, I do think on mobile the ships that require the least amount of actual like input are going to be your bread and butter. And what I mean by this is for destroyers you would be playing Shimakaze because you can just simply sail around and launch torpedoes. If you were to be using a ship like Gearing or Fletcher, any of the DDs that hunt down other DDs, taking these gunfights is actually quite difficult because one, you have to use your finger to swipe and keep your aim on target while you're dodging shells trying to look for other ships that are shooting you in order to dodge those shells and trying to shoot the destroyer that is dodging your shells. Now having to swipe, I found that a swipe from the center of my screen to the right, obviously I'm playing on a phone so the screen real estate is much less than if you're playing on an iPad, but it only goes about 90 degrees. There is also no setting to change the sensitivity of your swipes. So until then, I think, again, using the ships that require not as much input are going to be the best ships to play. Something else that should be mentioned is that aim assist on mobile is not nearly as effective as the aimbot on console. You do actually have to figure out where to aim. The aim assist does typically put you near where the ship is, and sometimes it does put it in front, but you do actually have to put a lot of effort in actually aiming, not like console where you simply aim in and then make the tiniest adjustment, and then it's basically going to be shooting right at the citadel. Now obviously with the soft launch there's going to be a bunch of issues, and it will eventually be worked on and hopefully fixed. There's honestly a bunch of issues that I could go on and talk about with this mobile version and the fixes that I want to see. But instead of continuing down that path, I'll go ahead and talk about some of the things that are very good about this mobile version. First of all, it's mobile, so that means you can pretty much play this wherever you are. As long as you have an internet connection, this will be very good for when they finally add Bureau to the mobile version. Because if you are not actually able to get to your console and log in, you can actually just simply log in from your phone or iPad, wherever you are, and then keep those 
your projects going. If you go on a business trip or for some reason aren't able to get on and play the game to complete the missions for the campaign ship that you want, you can do so now with mobile, well at least in Canada and the Philippines, everywhere else will have to wait. I know some people will make a comparison to WoW's Blitz, which is the other World of Warships mobile game. Now, personally, I think the Legends mobile game is a lot better than Blitz, simply because there is a lot more depth and actual mechanics that relate to the PC version, whereas Blitz is just simply a game where you just drive in and shoot other people. The games on Blitz are also not always full, and it's sometimes half-filled with bots. And by bots, I don't mean people, I mean AI. Also, I will say the graphics for this mobile game is honestly not that bad and i would go as far as to say this is one of the better looking mobile games out there so what is my overall opinion on world of warships legends mobile well i think the game is good not great obviously playing it on console is just going to be a much better experience but if you're not able to if you don't own an xbox or playstation and you do enjoy World of Warships PC, and we're hoping for that in Blitz, and we're disappointed with what that brought. Now you have a game that is basically that, and it has all of the same mechanics and functions that it does on PC, while also supporting all of the same ships. Now for me personally, all of the issues that I had mentioned at the beginning of this video are the first things that should be addressed, like the sensitivity for the swiping and the aim assist not being as strong as it is on console. I think aim assist should be actually a little stronger here on mobile because it is actually much more difficult to aim, especially with how you have to swipe. Maybe if the sensitivity does have a slider and you can make it much higher, then it would be a lot easier and aim assist won't really be much of an issue. But until then, I do think this game does have a long way to go uh, in this game. I was having a pretty good start and then this relatively healthy Flandre just decides to ram and basically puts an end to my game. I did try to get another good game like that one I had in the Yamato and I had posted the screenshot for with 276,000 damage. But it just wasn't happening and I eventually just stopped trying to record because my screen recording bugged out. Now I would ask, let me know what you guys think of Legends Mobile, but I'm pretty sure most of you don't actually have access to the mobile version yet since it's only available in Canada and the Philippines. But instead, let me know what you guys think of simply just watching this video and what are your thoughts on it. It can be good, bad, all the above. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Or leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of this mobile version. And if I should be making more content of mobile. But until next time, aloha.